Hi, I'm Sean Crookshanks from SRAM's Race Department. If you have a RockShox Boxer fork with a 35 mil chassis, such as the 2010 and onwards, you can install the new charger damper. Today we're going to show you how to install the new charger damper. For the first step, we're going to remove the damper tube from the lower leg. Now we're going to clean our lower leg, give it a spray of isopropyl alcohol, and then clean it with a shop towel on a piece of doweling. Uh, we've removed our rebounded compression assembly. We're just going to clean the interior of that tube. Now we're going to install our new charger damper in the top of the upper tube. Your charger damper comes pre-bled. All you have to do is tension. Using a 24 mil socket and a torque wrench, Tighten to 7.3 newton meters. Now we're going to grease the bottom cap of our charger damper with SRAM butter. Then we're going to install it over our charger damper rebound shaft, push it in. With the bottom cap installed, get your C-clip and your C-clip pliers. Make sure you use the sharp edge of your C-clip Make sure it's exposed to the outside and install the C-clip. Just double check that you've got that securely in place. Now we're going to install our casting plug on the rebound shaft. Install it just like that and then put your foot bolt on and we're going to tension that up to ensure it seats on the rebound shaft. This is a very important step to ensure your charger damper fits well in your lower leg. And then once it's tensioned, back it off and remove the foot bolt. Included in your charger upgrade kit is some Loctite 680. This will help ensure that the casting plug stays firmly in the lower leg. Apply a thin layer of Loctite to the outside edge of your casting plug. Before we reinstall the lowers, I'm going to lubricate the seal and wiper with SRAM butter. Now we're going to install the lower leg onto the upper tube. We're going to only run it on to about the first bushing, about right there. Now we're going to put 10 cc's of 0W30 in the lower leg. Slide the lower leg all the way down. We're going to clean the inside of the bolt hole with a Q-tip sprayed in isopropyl. Install your foot bolt with a torque wrench and a 5 mil Allen key fitting to 7.3 newton meters. Install your rebound adjuster. Holding the rebound adjuster in place, use your 2.5 mil Allen key and tension it on the foot bolt. Now we're going to install our compression adjuster on top of the charger damper. We're going to use a 2 mil Allen key to secure it. We've now completed the charger damper installation in your boxer. For instructions on how to reinstall your fork into your crowns, please consult your boxer's owner's manual. Now go shred some lines.